Hey guys, uh, I'm Chris and this is Ryan and we and the rest of our team over here, we are Bad Dates and we are literally here to bring you, well, I guess, Bad Dates. And uh, we just want to let you know there's actually a very good reason why we call ourselves Bad Dates. Uh, we, did, we didn't wing it. We actually talked to our customers. We first had an idea, we had a hypothesis, and we said, hey, we think the most valuable memories are the experiences that you share with the people that you love. So we said, let's build a platform on sharing experiences. Well, guess what? It's Startup Weekend. We did a little bit of research in the first 15 minutes. We found that uh, there's another company doing it. They got about 20 million in funding. We said, hey, it's Startup Weekend. Let's get a little bit more creative. So we talked to our customers, about 20 or 30 of them, and we found out that there's one common problem that they have. This is coming from the married guy, so. Man, this is gonna be a bad date. So what, it, what encompasses a bad date? So things are so weird. There's walls up between you guys, you're just literally standing here. I'm married, so it's cool. Uh, there's a wall and you're just on your phones, right? Technology just killing me. So everything's weird and everything's awkward. So we wanted to flip the online dating community on its head. And what do we want to do? We want to embrace being awkward and embrace being weird. So really, how do we go about doing that? So what do we do? It's pretty simple. We create an experience that you won't forget. <laughs> How are we going to do that? Well, we're a team of hustlers, so what did we do? We went out in the field this weekend. We partnered with six local companies, and we asked them, we walked in, we said, hey, we're with bad dates, and then they were like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> so we asked Vino, we said, can you create a bad date for all of our people who want to go on bad dates? And they said, yeah, sure, so you can actually uh, go here. For the first 30 minutes, it's not 20, we're going to teach you, or Vino is going to teach you, a course in wine. And you're going to get four glasses of wine while you're doing it, to calm down, of course. And then after that 30 minutes, you and your date, whether it be you're a couple that have been for, uh, dating for 10 years, or if you're single on your first date, we'll set you up. You're going to teach 10 people about what you just learned. Hey, just so you guys know, if you guys want to buy this, you can go to us right, right now and buy it. It's $40, baddates.co. And we set up five other local partners that have all pitched us bad dates. We posted them online. We have sold all of them. And this is to go to another point. We have 20 people signed up, all single. They posted their own bad days. This guy wants to do laundry <laughs> with the girl at seven in the morning and they're gonna talk about stuff. <laughs> so, well, the big important part is how do we make money, right? So what we validated is people are willing to pay for weird and unique experiences that put them really out of their comfort zone. And as of a few minutes ago, we had $860 in revenue with no overhead. And we launched at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so we're pretty pumped about that. Um, we also believe it's unvalidated, but we believe we can, get, we can charge a subscription fee as well. We, we sort of mapped it out a little bit at $5.99 a month, um, but obviously we have not validated that. We don't have a user test case. So just some high-level financials for us. I don't want to bore you guys a ton. There are 40 million people in the United States that have tried or are online dating. If we think we can get 3.5% market share we, and charge $40 a date, and we, they go twice a year, with uh, the cut that we give our partners, we think this is a $56 million business. Obviously, this is not validated yet, but we also believe that we can charge a subscription model. These are high-end numbers, obviously, but we think um, people are more willing. Yeah, we're working through it. <laughs> Um, so, the four things we tried to do, we wanted an MVP, users, paid user test case, revenue, my team knocked it out of the park. Judges, your three minutes starts now. When I was back there, I couldn't hear anyone, so don't want to really joke Yeah, something. that's a good idea. So, uh, so you collect 40 bucks, then what's your margin? Where does the money go? We're, we're currently, we go, uh, when we went to the local partners, we asked Paintball Dave's. Um, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna go on a date at Paintball Dave's, you're literally going to be the ref with your first date. We're charging 20 bucks, Dave only wanted 10. We're doing 50-50 on our uh, partnerships right now. Inc yep, including all of them. How do you have 10 people always available if you don't have 100? So uh, Vino 100, actually, they're the one who pitched the idea, and they said they're going to recruit and get the people in. And these local companies, they all want business, and they want marketing, and this is pretty cheap marketing for them.
Um, if you're single or if you you've been in a relationship, you're looking for something new. Go to the website. We we got dates. Other than the company that you approach, talk to us what you did in terms of getting users to sign up. Other than your friends and whatever, how did you do it? Or even if it was your friends, just talk to us through that. Yeah, so a lot of the outreach we did was socially and a lot of word of mouth. So we literally went out and we <coughs> stood on street corners and down our avenue. We sent wives and girlfriends out to recruit guys. We literally did every startup <laughs> tactic we knew. If you're a customer of Bad Dates and you have a date, could you please raise a hand? Our team hustled. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually built. It's built already. We're going to actually build a Pat Date Empire. Couples across the country are going to benefit from this. we got to think about it. <laughs> there was interest in the Twin Cities, though. Yeah, we did have someone in the Twin Cities request it, so there's that. We got one. I'll sign up for the subscription. We'll hold you to that. Any other questions? Yeah, talk to us a little bit more about the various revenue model options with the actual like um, bars or pubs or the paypal days. What did, how many did you speak to? What did they say? We're six for seven. We, we're, uh, we're six for seven? Who didn't want in? Slash. Uh, uh, oh, okay. We have, to, we have to confirm. So we, we talked to seven this weekend. We got six. They were just like, we're in. We'll do it. Um, it was literally, we went inside, we said, when we went to Paintball Dave, we said, is Paintball Dave here? And luckily he was there, and we got him. Uh, and then the other models are subscribers, like, if you want to keep spicing up your life, you can sign up for access to it. Uh, we don't have an idea in mind for sales yet. We need to talk to our customers, see what they're willing to pay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.